All right. All right, there we go. Well, fantastic. We got done with C-sharp. All right, so let's go to Dart. Oh, now, my goodness. Yeah, th now this is one of those languages where I always feel like I would have no reason in the universe to use Dart. So I, I tried it okay. uh, within the last year okay. when I was exploring possibilities of, like, making making some apps. Yeah. Because you got the Dart plus Flutter combo. Yep. And... I didn't. I didn't have any. I didn't really have very many opinions. I stopped right away because I was. I was done. Oh, check PRs. Do we need to pull something down for this? Okay. <laughs> so that, that someone's that, desperate. I, I'm not... Someone's <laughs> desperate. Deleting it just deleted Dart. Odin, <laughs> nice. We got it. <laughs> just delete Dart. What Dart? I'm just gonna merge Odin. <laughs> Quick check PRs. Deletes Dart. <laughs> Okay, this is great. We got an Odin one. I really do appreciate that. But okay, so real real talk on 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 Dart. By the way, TJ, that was like single handedly the worst story I've ever heard you told. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That, I, just I like had some Dart experience, and uh, it had no impact, is what I'm saying. Like that's what, that was the point of the story. Started it and then I stopped it. No opinions. <laughs> yeah, that should that should tell you what you need to know. You is only it... use Dart to write Flutter, and I didn't think Flutter was that great. And so then I never did it again. Okay. Okay. That's it? That's it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. I, I tried it. So uh, I think you your opinion was that it's so bland, you just don't care to use it again. Would that well, yeah, be a better like statement of your... And it's like super hyper-specific. Okay. Like, because you pretty much just write it with Flutter. It's just like even weirder than wanting to learn, like, I want to figure out how to do React Native and do, like, everything in... You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to do everything with blah, blah, blah. Right? Okay. Well, that's that is like everything with JavaScript. Like, at least you can do everything with JavaScript, even if sometimes it sucks. I'm gonna but have to like, review well, this. What you... This is like some crazy. Someone's giving me like DevOps stuff. I will have to review this because this looks awesome that you're giving me DevOps stuff. I really that do appreciate that. Uh, yep. Here, I'm just gonna merge it now. I'm gonna merge <laughs> it now, assuming you're right, and then we're gonna go back and go through it. Oh, don't worry. Chat about to get some Bitcoin miners merged in here. Why <laughs> we're not paying attention? Give me, give me that Bitcoin miner. Baby. All right, I think we already have an Erlang. Oh, we don't have an Erlang wing. I closed it down because they didn't respond. Okay, that's right. Okay. Here, we'll get we'll get Erlang in there as well. Uh, I think Erlang, again, no, I have no opinions about Erlang. I think that's how you actually Very pronounce cool it. Very cool language. Er Erlang. It's Very not cool language. Erlang. It's Erlang. Um, get pull origin master rebase. There we go. All right, so let's go back to Dart. Yep. Right, let me let me restart. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, I don't think anyone actually created Lua. Someone's asking for Lua. Lua seems like such an easy win I for this. I wrote one in Fennel a while ago, which uh, is just Lua but Lisp. <laughs> Good story, TJ. Uh, <laughs> That's all right. true. All it's right, still Dart, Lua. Dart Ds. Okay, so we got that one. Dart Ds. All right, so. Lexers. Okay. All right, so we have this right here. We have our token type. I don't know what this means down here. So you can have a function on there? Well, it, I don't it looks know like the is. constructor, right? Because it's called oh. the token type, but it's a token type, and it's a const token type. I don't quite get that yet, but, well, that's fine. So let's see. Okay, we have a final token type, string literal. Here we go. Do this, this, and this. Override. Override. Interesting. Does that mean you're planning on subclassing this out? No, oh, I think they're overriding, overriding the default. Oh, yes. Like an object. Yes, class. okay. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And overriding the equal operator. I do love this. I really do love the fact. That's that, good. Yeah, I... I, I know, like, I think, I kind of think this is better than what Rust did with, the like, having a trait to do partial equals or equals and stuff like that. It just feels confusing, whereas this feels much less confusing. I know exactly what I'm looking at. I kind of wish yeah, I the, had something like this. The only thing you get worried about, well, so it's like, you just have to make sure that you work with people that don't abuse these features. Yeah, but in Rust, you can, like, you can override add. It's true. Yeah, I'm, that's, I'm not. Yeah. Right. So it's all it's all still there. It's just like, yep. as long as you use it, I think equal operators are fantastic. It's just once you get into add operators because you want to be clever about your syntax. Look, yep. we can add two maps together. You're like, stop. Oh, stop. look, I've got a double, double right arrow. And then we did the bang after it. So now you know that it's <laughs> <laughs> You're like, stop it. Stop, please. Yeah. All right. Hash code. OK, cool. So this must be for putting it in the map is what I yep. what I assume. I don't. Looks good. I assume this is XOR. So just XOR the two. I think it's concat. Oh. It looks like 
Okay. Or, or no, maybe you're right. Maybe it is something else. I don't know. Because this is an int and this is an int and we're returning yeah, it an int. It doesn't so, make sense for a Greek cat. Yeah. yeah, so I assume it's an XOR. Uh, okay. Anyways, okay. This looks just like JavaScript. This is what you do in JavaScript. Uh, is Okay, this is exactly what I did. Literal word line for line JavaScript nice. right there. Okay, there we go. Keywords, yep. beautiful. Tokenizer. Yep. I like this position. Yep. Uh, okay, and end input. I wonder why, why is it a final means it can't be changed upon construction. Right. Is that what that means? Yeah, so it makes it immutable. Okay. Okay. I so don't know how deeply immutable it goes. Like, you know, because you can say, like, that you're not allowed to change stuff in JavaScript, but you can just keep putting stuff in the array. Oh, yeah. Is it a const, po is it a, is it a const pointer or is it a pointer to a const? Right. I don't know. Right. Uh, okay, so this is pretty cool. If you do a this.input, this must assign it to the input as an argument. Yep. And then you have an mm -hmm. initialization list kind of like C++ style. I, I'm fine with that. Yep. Though, cool. personally, I'd rather see the initialization. I, You know, I always felt a little bit weird about that. Like, why have initialization yep. outside of the function just to have initialization inside the function? I'm sure yep. there's a great reason for it. It just I've never understood it. It like, I guess you're being kind of like explicit about it. Yeah, but right, you're being like, oh, this is how we we do it here. It's part of the initializations. What's get passed in? But I'm not a huge fan personally. Yeah, it just it just reminds me of like trying to be too clever in C plus plus. You know what I'm saying? You're like, yeah. Oh, well, we can do it, so we will. Yeah. The uh, let's see the body con. Let's see body constructor is a non constant way of doing it. Mm, see, okay, so if there's some optimization or something that the construct or the compiler can do, then I get why you do that because yep. this is a constant operation. Every single time okay. you construct one, right right yep. end of file there right okay cool all right let's see uh okay so your basic stuff right here just oh so this yep. must let's see so this must be calling this thing right here which calls it there boom 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 yep. okay we see that case, very nice nothing you get is letter is number illegal okay look up identifier cool. okay so this is this is like line for line this looks just like javascript what it literally it looks like this could be typescript like half the time you think this is typescript yeah yeah, you even have like the, the, the whatever they call this, the nolly operator. Nullish coalescing or whatever. Yeah, yeah there you go. Uh, then you also have the Elvis operator. So this is all really good. I like all this. This is great. Uh, white space, fantastic. I always, whenever I see this, whenever I see something like this in a language, in my head, it feels like they're, they don't have a good standard. Because I feel like the standard should take care of this. And you shouldn't. Well, there probably is, right? They probably just copied from the book, though. Okay, that's just how I take it. Because I don't know, does Go have is ASCII whitespace in their strings? I think it probably package? does in strings. Okay, Cause, uh, because I know Thorsten just uses... Yeah, I think yeah. Th Thorsten just wanted it to be, like, obvious. Oh, it doesn't exist. Maybe it doesn't in Go. I don't know. That's fine. Okay. Uh, anyways, that's just something I think. Okay, all this, all yep. the rest of this looks pretty much exactly how you'd expected it. Uh, first position, yep. read. Second position, go. Same thing, go. Okay. Perfect. So this is one beautiful. thing I'll say is I, I w I like it when the default way to make variable in language is mute immutable, right? And then you have yeah. to opt in to mutability, right? You know, instead of like having to write final all the time. Did you, you like that? I used mutability. Why, you why did you do that to me right there? Like you knew exactly what you were doing. You 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 woke up and you and you just toggle switched violence today. How long have you been waiting to say this joke? Real talk. I've thought of it like five times already since we opened this file. <laughs> but I just didn't, I really needed it to be more natural, you know? Uh, <laughs> I, we can just move on. Okay, okay. Next okay. language. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is really awesome. I like everything that's going on here. I think the one thing I'd say about this language is that I don't know what niche Flutter and Dart does. I thought it was just like yep. another way around JavaScript for doing front-end applications. Is that fair to say? I don't... You can do mobile apps and stuff. It's actually like first made for mobile apps and things like that, I think. Mm. Okay. And so the thing I don't like about it is that it almost looks like it has all the problems of JavaScript. Just not JavaScript. Oh, I don't think so. Okay. I think it's more like... The thing I've found is like it's the 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 space of like the language is huge. So you like you have to spend all this time learning the language and then you're only going to use it for like app dev stuff. Okay. Which seems kind of weird, right? You're not going to write your back end in it, I don't think. Or like yeah. the whole back end. Maybe yeah. you do. It's more like Java. Okay. Anyways, yeah, it just feels it feels weird. It, it always feels weird seeing yet another language 
that I, I don't yep. see anything super compelling about this, right? Like I yep. do agree with you that opt in immutability is a weird feature. I'd much rather. It's I, at I, least better than no way to say it, but like I just like it when it's the default. Yeah, I, I'm I'm the def I default to immutability yep. versus mutability. <laughs> um, so just it just is kind of because like you know like the case statement they didn't do anything interesting right here. It's yeah. just yet another switch statement. It's, yet another. It's just ifs. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, I right. wanted to see something, you know, I wanted to see yep. something a little bit more, but okay. Dart. I'll I give it a bullseye out of 10. A bullseye out of 10. Yeah. Really? I'd give it well, out. Because it's, it's a dart. I, yeah. I'd give it like mid ring on the dart board out of 10. Well, it's not the best one. It's not 20 X three. That's like the bull. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, that's like bottom, you know, bottom outer ring. I get that. It's not that, but it's just like mid region whatever all right fine F 15x2 15x2 i mean that's pretty good I, i'm gonna yeah. give it i'm gonna get it i'm gonna give it a 3x2 you know like it almost is exciting but it's still just a two times yeah. three okay you know okay i just want to say bullseye out of 10 because it was dart i didn't really i don't really have any opinions <laughs> Again, I'll just be honest. Again, I went whole... for mud ability earlier, so I'm just keep. I'm just trying to keep that going. <laughs> Again, you just love. You love the fact that you don't have a strong opinion, but that in itself is like a strong opinion from you. It is when you're just like, yeah. ah, I don't really have much to say about it. Really, what that means is like, yeah, I would. It's like the. It's like the. It's the Windows <laughs> Linux MacBook thing where the two guys come up and they're like this, <laughs> this, and then you like beat him to death because he says Dart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically anywho all right so i i have a really big ask for you uh oh could you please talk to the stream while i go pp yeah of course i'll talk about my my stream <laughs> yeah can you can you could you not self-promote for the next three minutes where i can't listen to you okay definitely won't self-promote um what's up chat you know let me move over so i can actually see your chat better I won't chill. I mean, I'm not really going to mention or really talk about that. I'm also a streamer. You can click on my name in the title or anything like that. You know what I mean? I wouldn't really do that on stream after he asks me not to. So we're getting to OCaml. Okay, don't worry. Oh, I also have a YouTube. I wouldn't talk about that either, though. I haven't published any videos on there in a while. We'll get there eventually. My doggy's right here, actually. She's sleeping. Um, 